This video was brought to you by Renegade Cinema. Go to RenegadeCinema.com right now and become a Renegade today. Today seems to be a week of a lot of trailers. Um, what do we got? We got some new Iron Man footage. We got a look at the Wolverine. And a Mythical Legend may be appearing in a Rob Zombie film. And another lackluster trailer for a movie I'm kind of disappointed about. So without further ado, Ramblers, let's get rambling. So we got a great look at a Pepper Potts in an Iron Man suit, in the Iron Man suit, Tony's Iron Man suit, in a most recent Iron Man TV spot. Um, it shows her defending Iron Man from falling rubble, and I think Tony actually sent it on her during that one part of the trailer. You see that explosion happening where the dubstep, wow, kind of happens, you know? So, yeah, that's pretty awesome, and personally, I've... I've always wanted to try to see someone else besides Rhodey and uh, Tony in an Iron Man outfit. So, uh, that's pretty cool, I think. The Wolverine trailer debuted this week, which I got mixed emotions about. Because the director originally had said he would, uh, it would kind of be like 13 Assassins mixed with some other films in there. The only thing is, 13 Assassins, for the most part, has some subtlety to it. Um... And, well, it, it, this is a trailer, of course, and they're trying to sell a comic book film. So I can see why there would be, they'd show a lot of the action. But a, a big thing in there, they showed Jean Grey, which begs the question, are they continuing this from the Brian Singer, Two Good Films, slash, uh, you know, Brett Ratner crappy films? I don't know, only time will tell. But it looks like they're going that route. But does it also negate the whole <laughs> X-Men first class line? First class. First class. The X-Men first class line. Um, I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see, but mixed emotions with the trailer. It looked... I, thought, I think it's a cool concept. And everything. Watch the trailer yourself. You, tell me what you think in the comments below. We got a screenshot from uh, Rob Zombie's Horror Fest, The Lords of Salem. This, the, come on. To me, this, 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 this looks like Bigfoot. Does it not? I mean, seriously, this cannot look more like Bigfoot than it already does. Um, the Lords of Salem looks like it's going to be a generally creepy uh, film that Rob Zombie's usually really good at making. Um, not a big fan of the of Halloween 2. Kind of went way overboard with that one. But, uh, hey, we'll see what Lords of Salem has with us. I probably won't see it because, uh, it looks like it's going to freak the crap out of me. I'll, I'll see it. I'm kidding. And last but not least, the biggest disappointment I've seen in a long time. the A new World War Z trailer. Or, as this trailer is going to look like, it's uh, Brad Pitt all the way with some zombies in it. Um, very disappointed about this because the, th there's a book out there also called World War Z that they are allegedly basing this off of, allegedly. Um, and the book is brilliant. It's, it's got, it's got a lot, there's so many different stories being told in the book and they're also very well done. It's what the world would have done if there was an actual zombie apocalypse it isn't like it tells stories of something like the great panic which it, it looked like they were kind of doing at one point in the move in the film with all the cars in new york city or wherever they are um but it, it, it then it just goes off totally off the book and the, the zombies are running super they're all cg that's what i've also noticed and i if you've watched one of my bonus videos i don't i don't like cg um, I mean, it's okay, it can be used in certain, a certain light, but not with, uh, I like with horror and zombie films, I like my practical effects. Um, but it, it just seems so convoluted and stupid. And just when zombie films are reaching the height of which they can be shown as, you know, something beautiful, something that talks about the human condition, which they've always kind of done that with, uh, with, a um, George A. Romero's films that are talking about like a consumerism with his original Dawn of the Dead 
and um, they're also they're all commentaries on 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 on, on humans and us as a species. It, it's they're great. Um, it, the Walking Dead talks about how, it's like trying to preserve innocence and uh, the game especially. If you've played the Walking Dead game by Telltale, play it. It's it, it gets the feels going. Gets your feels going. Um, but just when the zombies are zombie zombies are starting to reach the height of their they're showing how artful artful they can be. This trailer comes out and makes me think this is going to be lost for everything. This is going to everything that we've built up to is going to go, go away. But then again, this is a trailer, and you can't expect everything from the trailer, which you will find out in this week's bonus video. And with that, I ask you to also hit the subscribe button to get many videos like this, so you can get them every week. And I implore you, please go to the Renegade Cinema website because we have some great writers up, up there, some ex ex extraordinary writers. We've always had them, but just emphasizing the point. And the link is in the link to the website is in the, is in the description below. And uh, if you excuse me, I have some things I have to do. I'm Brandon Grovey for Renegade Cinema. Signing off.